Hi, I'm Roger, a gadget guy, and today I'm going to show you four fun and useful things that you can do with a Google Chromecast. And they're not the usual things that you would do with a Google Chromecast. The main purpose of a Chromecast is to stream all your favorite shows through one of your favorite streaming apps. But you may not know that you can also stream video from your home security cameras. And this is cool feature number one. Hey Google, play camera one on basement TV. There's a view of my back door. The second cool feature I'm going to show you is you can control your smart home using your voice remote. Hey Google, turn off table lamp. Hey Google, turn on table lamp. Now you may ask, why would I want to do that? I could use a smart speaker. Well, this voice remote has two advantages. The first is that when you push the Google Assistant button, it mutes the TV sound. So you don't have to shout over the sound of your TV. The second advantage is this thing is not listening to you 24 seven. The battery is just too small on this little voice remote. So it's only listening when you're actually pushing the button which if you're concerned about privacy and if you've got security cameras, you might be, then this is a better option than a smart speaker. Now, most people know you can use a Chromecast for playing a music streaming service like Spotify or Pandora through your TV. And if you've got your TV hooked up to a nice stereo or surround sound system, you can enjoy high quality music in your living room. Now, what most people don't know, and this is the third cool feature, is that you can play those streaming services with the TV turned off. In fact, you don't even need a TV at all. Once you've got the Chromecast set up, you can take it to any stereo in your house and play the music through that using a gadget that I'm gonna show you now. This is the little adapter that you use for connecting your Chromecast to your stereo system so that you can listen to music when your TV is turned off. It's known as a HDMI audio extractor and there are many of them on the market. And I'll leave a link in the description of this video to one that I've tested and I know works well. You connect it up by plugging the power into the barrel socket. You plug the Chromecast into the HDMI input. All these inputs are labeled, inputs and outputs. You plug the audio into this aux jack. It looks like a headphone socket. And the other end of the audio can go to any open input on your stereo or surround sound system. Now to be able to use the Chromecast as you normally would, you plug an HDMI cable into the HDMI out socket. And then the other end of the HDMI cable plugs into your TV in the same HDMI socket as the Chromecast was plugged into. And then the TV will operate exactly the same with the Chromecast as it did before. So now I have the TV turned off and I can still play music. And this is a great advantage of using a Chromecast rather than using the smart TV's own internal streaming apps. Hey Google, play the Doobie Brothers on Spotify. All right, here's the Doobie Brothers on Spotify. I had to mute the audio for copyright reasons, but you can tell you can use a Chromecast as a low cost music streamer. Now that we have the TV off, I can try the fourth cool feature that I want to show you today. And that is we can play music that we've ripped from CDs or downloaded MP3s that are sitting on our computer. And that includes all the playlists that we may have made over the years. If you no longer have a CD player, there are three reasons why you would want to stream music from your computer to your Chromecast and to your stereo. The first is cost. You've already paid for these CDs. So why would you want to pay a subscription to listen to the same music? The second is quality. Many subscription services compress the music so that it's cheaper to store and to stream. And on your own home network, you can stream in full CD resolution quality. And then the third reason is even though the subscription services have millions of songs, they don't even come close to having everything. Some examples that I have here. This is a CD of the Beatles. It's a Japanese import, not available on any 
US streaming service. This is a charity CD from a local radio station. It has wonderful live recordings from some very well-known artists. There are long out of print classical and jazz CDs that you might find in a thrift store or occasionally on eBay, but are certainly not available on a streaming service. Music from a local church. If you know somebody who sings in a choir, then you're going to want to listen to their CD. And surprisingly good music from local street artists who are selling their CDs to make a buck. These are only available from the bag in which they collect their money. So that's the reason why the ability to stream my CDs from my computer to a Chromecast is actually one of my favorite features of the Chromecast. To select and play music that's on a remote computer and stream it to your Chromecast, you need a special app on your smartphone. On Android, my favorite is HiFiCast. On iOS, it's 8 Player Pro. And using that app, I can select the computer that I want to play from, and I can select the device that I want to play to. I'm going to play you a track that was recorded before 1927, so that the copyright is expired on that, and I'll ask you to excuse the audio quality. So that was playing from my computer in my office through the Chromecast connected to the stereo with the TV turned off. If you like this video, then give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you look in the description of this video, you'll see links to the products that I use today. Using those links won't cost you any more, but it will help to support this channel and would be greatly appreciated. That's all I had for today. Thanks so much for watching.